This is the Large Hadron Collider. It's 27 kilometers in circumference. It's the biggest scientific experiment ever attempted. And so CERN was set up as an international collaboration in Europe initially with that political ideal that it would, it would explore nature. When the most distinguished physicists in the world announced a discovery that went beyond conventional understanding, it left even the most skeptical of scientists puzzled. After years of meticulous investigation, the researchers at CERN stumbled upon a phenomenon that unveils the intriguing realm of subatomic particles and particle physics. This recent discovery at the LHC has brought forth yet another astounding revelation, leaving scientists both excited and concerned. Even the acclaimed physicist Brian Cox made a sobering declaration following this discovery. Could our relentless pursuit of knowledge be steering us toward a collision course with potential disaster? Join us as we delve into the depths of this scientific puzzle. CERN stands as a pioneering force in the exploration of the fundamental principles governing our universe. It conducts intricate experiments aimed at unravelling the building blocks of matter, understanding the elemental particles constituting all existence, and comprehending the forces dictating their interactions. Known as the European Organisation for Nuclear Research, CERN represents one of the world's most cutting-edge establishments. This intergovernmental organization spearheads the operation of the world's largest particle physics laboratory and boasts a membership of 23 states. These states, including European nations such as Switzerland, France, Germany, Italy and the United Kingdom, not only provide financial contributions but also partake in crucial decision-making through the CERN Council. Comprising representatives from each member state, the Council oversees CERN's overarching strategy and operational functions. The endeavours of CERN's research frequently spur advancements in technology, with innovations ranging from particle accelerators to superconducting magnets and advanced detectors, resulting in breakthroughs across various domains like medicine, material science and computing. Central to CERN's pursuits is the Large Hadron Collider (LHC) a flagship project within a sprawling network of accelerators and experiments. Imagine a track designed not for conventional vehicles but for subatomic particles engaged in a race against the constraints of time and space themselves. The LHC propels protons to nearly the speed of light, directing them onto a collision path mimicking the energy conditions during the universe's Big Bang. These protons execute over 11,000 laps around the circuit each second, culminating in collisions that generate temperatures a million times hotter than the sun's core. The journey of these protons is meticulously choreographed through the involvement of thousands of magnets. While sophisticated cooling mechanisms maintain the magnets at temperatures colder than the vacuum of outer space, among these magnets, 1,232 dipole magnets bend the particle beams while 392 quadrupole magnets focus them. Just before collision, a different type of magnet is utilised to compress the particles, enhancing the probability of interactions. The precision involved in orchestrating these collisions is akin to launching two needles from six miles apart with such accuracy that they converge halfway a feat of staggering precision driven by unparalleled technology. But as we push the boundaries of our knowledge, we're confronted with ethical and existential questions. What are the potential dangers of delving into the unknown? Could our pursuit of understanding accidentally unleash uncontrollable forces? A recent revelation has emerged from Brian Cox, a prominent figure in particle physics and a former CERN researcher. Cox's announcement has both intrigued and unsettled the world. He stated that the objective of CERN's Large Hadron Collider is to recreate a miniaturised version of the Big Bang event, the very genesis of our universe. This ambitious goal holds significant implications, emphasising the LHC's exceptional potential for groundbreaking discoveries. This encompasses unravelling the mysteries of the Higgs boson and delving into the enigma of dark matter, a mysterious substance constituting a substantial part of the cosmos. Imagine having the power of creation at your fingertips, the capability to summon the very essence of the universe. While enticing, this project is laden with peril. 
The mini Big Bang isn't just theoretical, it's tangibly within the LHC's reach. The temperatures, pressures and raw energy within this environment mimic the conditions during the universe's infancy. It's akin to standing at the dawn of time, observing the birth of existence itself. However, with such immense power comes an equally immense responsibility, prompting a looming question, what if something goes wrong? In fact, something did go terribly wrong in 1978. Anatoly Bugorsky, a Russian physicist, faced a catastrophic event that forever altered his life's trajectory. Working on the U-70 synchrotron in Protvino, Russia, a malfunction caused a proton beam to inadvertently pass through Bugorsky's head. Astonishingly, he survived the experience, describing a blinding flash of light but no pain. The beam's trajectory left a trail of destruction, burning through tissue and bone. Yet he remained conscious and even walked to receive treatment. The aftermath was a mix of horror and fascination. Tissue death led to hearing loss and partial facial paralysis. Yet Bugorsky's intellectual capacities persisted and he continued his scientific pursuits. This incident serves as a cautionary tale, highlighting the tremendous power and potential danger of particle accelerators. The risks posed by accelerators like the LHC should not be underestimated. One of the most intriguing and unsettling aspects linked to the experiments conducted at the LHC revolves around the potential formation of a minuscule black hole. Black holes represent areas in the fabric of space-time where gravity is so incredibly intense that not even light can escape their grasp. These entities are like cosmic vacuums, capable of consuming stars and shrouded in the mysteries of the universe. The notion that the LHC might generate such an entity, even on a microscopic scale, has generated astonishment among both the general public and experts. The looming question is whether this black hole could spiral out of control, eventually engulfing the Earth from within. Although researchers at CERN have provided assurance that any black hole produced would be short-lived and rapidly evaporate, the mere concept has sparked discussions, concerns and a profound appreciation for the immense power we command. To comprehend how the LHC could potentially create a black hole, one must delve into the fundamental mechanics of particle accelerators. As protons collide at nearly the speed of light, the resulting energy release is so staggering that it distorts the very fabric of space-time itself. Picture a tightly stretched trampoline being struck by a heavy object. The fabric bends, curves, and if the object is massive enough, it could create a deep depression, pulling nearby objects toward it. This analogy provides a simplified glimpse into the possible scenario within the LHC. In the realm of quantum physics, a domain where the rules governing the universe are both perplexing and exquisite, a theory exists proposing the existence of hidden dimensions within our reality. Should these dimensions indeed exist, the collisions within the LHC could tap into them, leading to the creation of a gravitational vortex that forms a minuscule black hole. This mysterious interplay of particles captured the interest of renowned scientists, notably the late Stephen Hawking. He raised a cautionary flag, envisioning a scenario in which the Higgs boson might turn unstable at incredibly high energy levels. This instability could trigger a catastrophic vacuum decay, an event of cosmic proportions that would not only obliterate Earth, but the entire universe itself. Another distinguished figure in the world of cosmology and astrophysics, Sir Martin Rees, also voiced concerns about the experiments at CERN. His book, On the Future, Prospects for Humanity, delved into the risks tied to particle accelerator experiments, including those pursued at CERN. Reese's sentiments carried not only caution but an undercurrent of existential unease. He discussed a worst-case scenario where a misguided experiment might induce a condition called vacuum instability. This condition could potentially set off a phase transition, rippling through the very fabric of space-time, culminating in a cosmic catastrophe with the potential to engulf the entire cosmos. While Rees acknowledged the low probability of such events, he stressed that even a remote chance should warrant our serious consideration. However, the scientists at CERN have meticulously calculated probabilities, conducted simulations and scrutinised theories to advocate for the safety of the LHC. 
Notably, Brian Cox himself acknowledged the importance of responsible exploration, recognising the widespread fears and concerns associated with the LHC's activities. He stressed that comprehensive safety measures are firmly in place. Rigorous reviews and protocols ensure the LHC's operations are executed with utmost precision. Cox reassured that the energies involved remain well within the natural encounters Earth experiences and the likelihood of generating a stable black hole is exceedingly remote. Even if such a black hole were formed, scientists posit that it would be minuscule and inherently unstable, disintegrating swiftly in a burst of energy, a phenomenon conceptualised by Stephen Hawking as Hawking radiation. It would present a momentary glimpse into cosmic marvel, a fleeting brush with the unknown, and then vanish. So are we playing God? Are we venturing into sacred territories, tampering with the very forces that govern the cosmos? Certain people speculate that the LHC might conceal a secret gateway to the netherworld, capable of unleashing demons and dreadful entities into our world. There are assertions that the LHC wields the might of a potent weapon, capable of annihilating our entire planet with a mere flick of a switch. A more unconventional notion suggests that the LHC is part of a government conspiracy aimed at manipulating minds and reducing humanity to mindless automatons. This line of thought extends further into dark conjectures, contending that the LHC's particle collisions serve a sinister purpose within a covert government endeavour to establish a new global order where only a privileged elite would survive. A particularly ominous theory pivots on the concept of a false vacuum, a hypothetical state of space characterised by energy levels not at their lowest feasible point. If the LHC were to inadvertently trigger a false vacuum, it could set off a chain reaction of catastrophic occurrences culminating in the annihilation of our familiar reality. While this doomsday narrative might appear outlandish, it nonetheless occupies the minds of some experts serving as a genuine source of concern. The experiments conducted within the LHC have the potential to fabricate conditions conducive to a false vacuum. The implications associated with such an occurrence are so profound that they could reshape our understanding of the universe itself. Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next one soon.